It's a beautiful day in the park here in Forestside. And it's also turning out to be a beautiful day where I live as well because I found out some wonderful news. We'll get to that as we go along in this episode, but hopefully we'll also get to some really great news as well as we play here in the city of Forside, because we hope to be reunited with an old friend. So with that in mind, greetings people of the world! Matthew back with you here in Overall Autism for the continuation of this blind let's play of Earthbound. And last time we had to go back to the desert in order to be able to speak. Uh, sorry. In order to speak with the guru known as Talarama, and he helped us get some very important information, as well as he got one of his monkeys to teach us how to teleport from city to city. Also, we also obtained from him the yogurt dispenser that we need, the yogurt machine that Apple Kid created, but was lost along the way by Escargo Express. And so now that we have both of these things accomplished, we've returned to Foresight in the hopes that we can go over to the Monotoli building in order to set Mal free. So I believe this is the maid that we need to speak to from a couple of episodes ago. I kept asking about for trial favorite yogurt, but... What? You have a yogurt dispenser? May I have it? Before you could answer, she took the yogurt dispenser. Now I can make chocolate flavored yogurt for my guests! You are so kind, I'll make something for- I'll make some for you! My room's on the 48th floor, don't forget to drop by! Yeah, you said that already, ma'am. But yes, this is hopefully our opportunity to finally get what we've been looking for for a long time. Hello there. Yeah, but we want to go to 48, though. Well, I guess that's going to take us to 47, and then there's another elevator that's available to us on 47 that we can use to go up to 48. Alright. Ready to get out of here. And go over here. Hello there. Shh, quiet. Aren't you Steven? Mr. Monotoli's maid, Electra, told me about you. So you're hiring superheroes as maids, Mr. Monotoli? Wow, Jennifer Garner, what have you done to yourself? I'll take you to Mr. Monotoli's office on the 48th floor. Only you may go. Well, that's why I'm here. Because we want Mal back. GIVE US MAL NOW! Alright, thank you. Now that we made it to floor 48, we have the creepy music. Which means... Secret code, please. Say your code in 10 seconds. And I'm getting a countdown. Well, I guess it would have helped if Electra actually gave us a secret code, huh? Oh boy. This could worry me. Especially if I can't hit the stupid robot. Tick tock. Does it have a bomb? Because if it has a bomb, I'm worried. STEVEN! Yeah, see? Was that so hard? Jeez. Uh, do I dare check behind the doors? I dare. Um, behind this door, um, nothing. Behind this door, behind that door. Okay, so this would just take me back to that spot. Ooh, we have washrooms too. Well, let's hit this robot first because, yeah, it's gonna ask us for a secret code. Uh, Electra, your enthusiasm could kill us. So let's get rid of this robot. Hopefully. Bottle rocket? Do you have them too? Oh man. Well, thankfully, if Steven can actually score, this fight can go by pretty fast. Do I dare go in the girls' washroom? Because, yeah, I can tell the logos. Grown. Okay, can't, must be occupied. That one must be occupied too. Alright. Next door. Another robot. And <laughs> just fight me, man. I mean, <laughs> I have no secret code. Stupid me wouldn't give me one. Yeah, it would have been nice if 
Electra gave me a secret code before I came up here, but she was so enthusiastic about getting the um, yogurt making machine that um, she couldn't be bothered to give me what I really needed. Well, actually, what is really needed is for Mr. Monotoli to give me mail back. As Dan gains another experience level, that means absolutely nothing because the stat gains were horrendous. Do I go up here? Um, why is this turned into such a maze now? Hey, there was a gift box. What's inside? A sudden guts pill. Alright. So it turns out this maze is actually worth something. And now... Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'll do that as well. Super Robot says it's... Give me your code, I'll just... Let the countdown go. Yeah, hey, you! You owe me a code! You truff... That's not what I want! They ain't got the trout yogurt. Master Pokey's cool. He gave me something the other day and said, this is fit for a maid. And what was it? Yeah, I guess I'll never find out. At least we found Electra, but still, it would have been nice to have been given a code. Pain clankety clankety. Rattle rattle dwower squeak tweet tweet clank. Boss? Okay, so we got a boss to deal with, too. Very well. Boss to gear and some bolts. And it calls itself a boss? Some people fired a strange game, it didn't work on Dan, thankfully. Yeah, maybe I should take the safe route here and give Dan uh, a bit of an HP boost. Clean the area. Alright. Ate a bologna sandwich? What? Oh, that's not fair. And how can you eat a sandwich? It's a robot! Wanted to go and get a battery. Yeah, not only is this a clumsy robot, it's eating the wrong things to replenish its health. We applied a bandage on itself. All of a sudden, some guys rushed into the room. It was the Runaway 5? So, are they gonna show up on screen? Lucky quickly ducked behind the robot. I flipped the switch and it stopped. What? Why didn't we think of that? Jeez, what a loser robot. It was so easy to stop. That was quick thinking. Indeed it was. Clumsy robot stopped moving. Thanks, guys. 16,000 points, and Steven's now up to 38 with a HUGE jump on offense and on defense. Also on Guts, and IQ, and HP for 25, and PP for 12. A crucial gain at 48. Hey guys, we would like to pay you back. We'll help you in whatever way we can. We don't have any money. We are strong, however. <laughs> Let's break into the room next door. Except I need to go to the bathroom first. <laughs> well then do that. I thought I thought I heard a girl's voice. So where's your sixth member? The room next door seems suspicious somehow. Well why don't we go in and find out why it's suspicious. Stop! That's enough! Please stop! Oh! that That's mom over there! Yay! I give up! I really do! Like, here, take her. Mal! Steven! You finally made it here! Yeah. I'm fine. I believed you'd come and save me. Mr. Monotoli re isn't really a bad person. No, he just has a bunch of... He just bought the police force. He built a whole bunch of crappy robots. Um, What else can we add to his list of grievances? Take some time to listen to him. Alright, out with that old man. Look at my skinny arms, thin body, and gray hair. I've become so weak since I lost the Manny Manny statue. I'm sorry I kidnapped Mal. I haven't done anything to her. And you were really expecting me to believe that? Mal is a nice girl. Mal, return to Stephen. I'm sorry I've caused, created so much trouble for you. 
Hooray! Ah, at last this crazy ordeal is over. And I see a trap door on the left. I'll tell you everything. The Manny Manny statue creates an illusion. It attracts evil spirits and weakens your heart. The power scared me so much I hid the statue in the warehouse at Jackie's Cafe. I often went there to pray. Cryptic words appeared to me while I was in the illusion. Stephen, your name appeared in the cryptic messages. Stop Stephen and do so by your own hand. Or don't let them go to Summers. Oh, there's another town we have to go to? Well, we, well, we can't go there yet because in every town we're supposed to pick up a new party member, so we're still waiting on Alex to show up here in Foresight. Or make sure they know nothing of the pyramid. I don't fully understand the messages. But someone obviously doesn't want you to go to Summers. Evil Gygus or something. I could hear the name. Anyway, the evil side will be in trouble if you visit Summers. Oh, on the contrary, you should definitely go to Summers. Especially because they don't want you to make it there. Would you like to hear the whole story again? No, I'm good, thank you. Summers is located across the ocean. Take my helicopter. I'll open the door to my heliport. Oh, okay, you... You blocked... You bl or did you just barricade that? Oh, okay. I was about to say, did you just barricade the door and lie to me? But no, you barricaded the door so you could open up another one. You must go on. Steven, this is your destiny. Mal, it's time we said goodbye. Take care. Alright. We still have a creepy hall to go through. But yay, we get to ride on a helicopter. So let's get on board. Alright, so you're gonna lower me down a ladder out then? Pokey? Steven, you pinheaded idiot, you're just a half step too slow. You're stealing the helicopter? I'm getting out of here. Since Mod's only become a plain old man again, I have no more use for him. This helicopter will really come in handy. Looks like you're the world class loser again. Wow. I think he's still stuck on happy happyism. But yeah, seriously, what the hell? Hey, Monotoli, give me another damn helicopter! Yeah. You hope he's okay? Well, it turns out that being a part of the happy happy cult was the worst thing that could have ever happened to him. You have nothing further to say. Wow. So then why are like, you supposed to go? Oh. S sequence. What's up, Mal? Oh, I was, I was a little dizzy, but now I'm okay. To get to Summers, we need to go back to Threed. Yep, somehow I know that's where we must go. Alright. Three it is. Wow, you guys did a lot while I was in the bathroom. Maybe too much. You want to get the three as soon as possible? We can take you to three in our tour bus. I'll get the bus and wait for you just outside the building. All right, awesome. Just go. Don't get taken in again by some crazed um theater owner. I never did find out what was in this store. In this gift box, we have a vital capsule, but everyone's inventory is full, including Mal's. Alright, well then... Um... Let's just um, use a picnic lunch. And then we'll go ahead and take the vital capsule. Now, obviously, there's gonna be a low number on vitality, so... We got to... Um use the vital capsule on Mal since she's been away for such a long time. So as it stands right now, yeah, Mal is light years behind. I mean, her, her defense is rather comparable, but yeah, as far as HP is concerned, she's 
well behind the boys. Alright, let's do this. So we gotta go all the way back down and through this crazy labyrinth. What was here on the left? Alright, that's just where you come out on the other side. Alright. Oh, Apple Kid again? I think I'm a real genius. In fact, I know I'm a genius. Why? Well, I have discovered the primary enemy of you and all humanity. We have to fight and defeat this being. To do so, we need to invent a machine called the Phase Distorter. Hey, it isn't, wasn't Dan's father doing something like that? I've got to find the wandering scientist, Dr. Andonuts, and make the disorder, so I may be gone for a while. Later. Alright, so... If we go to... Oh, would an autograph be asking for too much? I don't mean your autograph, silly. Eh, whatever floats your boat. Yeah, I gotta go through here, and then I gotta go over to this side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not my fault you have such a lovely body. I mean, if you don't want me staring at it, maybe you should do something about it. I'm just kidding. What? Call again? Orange Kid. Sorry I haven't called lately. I'm still working on the way to change boiled eggs into raw eggs. It's taking longer than I thought. I'm going to really work at it though. Talk to me later. Yeah, so as it turns out so far, Apple Kid proved to be the superior of the two inventors. Okay, you can get on the bus now. Yeah, by going right through the dip windshield. Alright, on to three. And away they go again. Oh, bo little boy! It almost ran you over! You gotta be careful there. I'm sure the runaway five don't want any blood on their hands. That's our job. Oh, why is my humor so crude today? Well, while the, we're going back to 3, I can tell you guys something special. Um, I found out um, last night that I'm going to get the opportunity to visit my mother in New Brunswick for the week of Christmas. And so because of that, I'm going to be leaving next Sunday, as of the day I'm recording this, and returning on the Saturday after Christmas. So I get to spend the week of Christmas with her. It'll be my first time to visit her since she moved out to New Brunswick, which was actually not that long ago. It was only last month. And so getting the opportunity to see what her new house looks like is going to be really wonderful. She lives now these days on an uh, island off the coast of New Brunswick. It's actually um, right near the U.S. border with Maine. So I'm really looking forward to seeing... Um, her again. So um, I'm really wondering if I'm gonna um, take the, my laptop with me and like make some spare episodes um, during this weekend before I head off to see her next week. And so we'll, I'm either gonna do that or probably just take the week off, but I think we'll be fine. Alright, we made it! I'm sorry we couldn't do more for you. Remember though, we're on your side. Just like nationwide, right? When you're having a tough time, just think of our songs and imagine the Runaway Five singing somewhere far, far away. By the way, why did you need to come back here? I wish I knew. You must have forgotten some very important item or gadget here. How's that for a guess? Am I close? Well, you don't have to tell me. See you later and good luck. Alright. So yeah, why do you need to come back here? Because it didn't specify what I'm supposed to do when I come back here to Threed. Am I supposed to go back to the circus or something? Let's go find out. Thankfully it's still in town, but there aren't as many people as before. 
Since the tunnel was clear, many cars have started driving through it. It's incredibly noisy. Actually, I'm kind of glad that I got to see real zombies. Sicko. You made our lives peaceful. I can sleep again. It's like you used a bunch of... Okay, yeah, we've seen that line before. This town's no peace, but my wife gets old to speak to me. So what's supposed to bring us back here to Threed? Um... To be honest, I'm not really sure. I mean, I could take a look at the map and... I could, I could go to the hint guy off screen. In fact, I think I'll do that. I'm gonna go... Since we're past 20 minutes now, I'm gonna go save the game. And we'll give Dad a call, because it's been a while since we've talked talk to him. In fact, off camera, I'm actually going to make it a point to go ahead and see if I can get Mal some new equipment back over in Foresight, because it seems to like it would be a good idea to see just what all we can equip to her. So, we'll do that off camera, and then try and figure out, I guess, through a video review or by talking to Hink Guy, because that's going to make much more sense, what we need to do here in Threed in order to help out Apple Kid, I guess, to help build his phase distorter. Because it looks like he's going to want to speak with Dr. Andonuts, Dan's father, to do that. So we'll figure all this out next time. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of this Blind Nuts play of Earthbound. And when I join you again, we will make our way to wherever it is we're supposed to go. And we'll go ahead and advance the story as we try and help, I guess, Apple Kid meet with Dr. Andonuts to create his face disorder and try and figure out why we're supposed to be f doing something in 3 to advance the story. So until next time everyone, this is Matthew at Navarro Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.